You know, chapter two, season seven is here, and with it are a whole bunch of new items and weapons. Bunch of questions, tell me where you at, your motivation guy. That's right, I am back. And I'm so excited and pumped up, man. Today, we're gonna be going over the absolute best keyboard and mouse settings for the new season so that you can dominate your enemies and really just stay ahead of the brand new meta. Are you guys ready for this? Let's get this going. So after checking out and playing a couple of games of Fortnite Season 7, I bet you guys could already tell that the meta has changed a lot. However, the back and forth trend of just like the pump being taken out of the game has stopped and it has stayed with us for Season 7. Along with the pump, tacks are still in the game and lever action shotguns have been brought back as an option to crap. This changes the game immensely, right? And it's gonna make the new meta even easier for most of us. This meta's actually starting to take a lot of skill and your aim really matters this season. Since the pump does more body damage and the purple pump can't 200 pump a player, you must hit all your shots, man. And that's why during this season, having a low to medium sensitivity will be the most important thing, you know, for playing to your best potential. So in chapter two, season seven, having low to medium sensitivities are definitely the most optimal for competitive gameplay. So to avoid confusion, all of these sensitivities will be corresponding with 800 DPI, which is your mouse's raw sensitivity outside of Fortnite. So keep your X and Y sensitivity at a low to medium range really is the best choice for that, right? And it's really the reason why most pros really do the same. So a perfect sensitivity that many pros use is 6.5% on both their X and Y axis. This is considered the perfect sensitivity because it's just right between the low and medium range and allows pros to have the perfect mix of fast mechanics and accurate aim. However, I will say this, many top tier professional players have started to use higher sensitivities just because of the advantages it brings. You know, players like Nora Rayleigh, Vadil, and Nash play to 10 to 14%, which allows them to have extremely fast movement. So high sensitivity is definitely the way for players with amazing mouse control. So make sure to practice before you choose this route. So scope and targeting sensitivity varies along many pros and preferences, but keeping it around 30 to 40% is the most optimal way to really track your opponents perfectly. And so with this sensitivity, you can easily laser players out of the sky or if they're just moving quickly. This also allows you to have better shotgun aim when aiming down sights and overall allows you to hit for more damage. So just like your X and Y sensitivities, keeping both numbers at the same percentage is better than having separate sensitivities, but can also be a preference depending on your play style and capability. So another small part in the sensitivity section that is absolutely like no role in your gameplay is really the ignore gamepad input and lock input as mouse. So just keep lock input as mouse on and leave gamepad input off just in case you know you have a controller connected simultaneously or if you use you know uh, double movement bots. So keep your aircraft sensitivity at 100% just in case planes are added back to competitive modes and really just keep your invert controls off. So to narrow down on the perfect sensitivity guys, copying another pro's sensitivity can be pretty useful. You know, pros are always looking to play at their best and their settings are tailored to help them do so. However, you know, changing it to your preference is the key to improving and really playing at your best. So don't feel that you need to really clone somebody else. I mean, you're you for a reason, right? And everybody has different strengths and weaknesses. So make sure to use all of our tips and recommendations to help you find your perfect sensitivity. And I know you will. You know, when you have your sensitivity down and you're just, you know, beaming people out of the sky with no problems at all, you should head on over to ProGuides.com to hit the ground running this season. All right, so having the perfect keybinds can be extremely confusing to players when they first start playing on keyboard and mouse. And so a huge mistake a lot of players make is using keybinds that are close to each other rather than keybinds that are fully optimal. And so when having keybinds that are very close to each other, yo, it's just like most likely that you're gonna have to use the same finger to press all of them. So this may seem kind of easy, but it's definitely gonna limit the way you edit and your movement while you're building. So to have the perfect keybinds, guys, use keybinds that allow you to really move around and build at the same time. So this is gonna allow your mechanical skill to be at its fullest and make sure that you're never gonna lose, you know, momentum when engaging in a build heavy fight. And so as of now, the best way to have optimal keybinds is by putting your wall and ramp on your side mouse buttons. This allows you to have more space in your keyboard and really helps your fingers move across your keyboard smoothly. The reasons, you know, most pros put their wall and ramp on their mouse button is because this allows you to move around, jump, crouch, and pull out your pickaxe while building. Depending on your edit bind, put your floor to C or F and your cone to left shift. Along with this, changing your edit bind to E or F is definitely the move as they are just easily reachable. 
So put your trap bind to T as it is the closest bind right next to your reload. And so along with this, change your ping bind to X as you still have an extra bind left to use. And after just playing for just a couple of hours on these binds, I'm like, you're gonna really definitely notice a huge difference in how easily you can build, strafe, and edit simultaneously. And so for an easier way to copy down these settings, guys, just pause the video right now and just copy what's on the screen. Okay, well, hopefully you just unpaused it. All right, your weapon keybinds don't usually affect you too much, but always just try to switch off the number of keys. After copying down these binds, all right, you have many keybinds that you can still use. Like normal, you know, keeping your pickaxe bound at one is fine, and you could choose to use two, three, four, and five for your next slots. However, you still have a lot of extra key binds, so put your last slot at V and your fourth slot at G. This allows you to press every bind efficiently and helps you arrange, you know, your weapons in any way of importance that you really want. Just remember, you know, further along in the video, we're going to be showing you guys some bind tips that remove your scroll wheel completely. So just make sure that you're used to pressing weapon binds instead of scrolling. You know, weapon binds don't really affect you too much, and you can definitely adjust each one to your preference as long as you don't need to scroll. All right, Bunch of Course, it's time for the question of the day. Are you guys enjoying the new season so far? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below, and we'll be sure to check them all out. All right, back to the video. You know, there are many different keybinds and settings you need to use for both competitive and creative gameplay. First up, the best advantage that you can have over a controller player, scroll wheel reset. Scroll wheel reset is the fastest way to reset your builds and allows you to reset multiple builds by just scrolling down. So to use scroll wheel reset, all right, use your secondary keybind for your building edit and change it to scroll wheel down or up. For now, okay, we recommend scroll wheel down. After, just change your secondary bind for reset building edit to scroll wheel down as well, and that's it. So in our main keybind section, you may be wondering like what bind to use, you know, after using E as your edit bind. But don't worry guys, we have the perfect solution for this issue. Scroll wheel pickup is a huge advantage that almost every pro uses, and it's gotten more and more important as we transition through each season. So this allows you to pick up every item in a split second just by scrolling repetitively. To use scroll wheel pickup as your bind, just change your secondary bind for use to scroll wheel up. After doing that, just remember to keep scrolling up when 50 50 a chest. Okay, so as we move backwards to our settings tab, there are many settings that you need to enable. Turn on sprint by default, as it allows you to sprint at all times and allows your hand to move freely. Also, turn on auto open doors. This setting allows you to walk through doors without actually having to use any bind and really saves you time. Further on, turn on sort consumables to the right, but just make sure you're used to putting all your consumables on the right side of your inventory slots. As soon as you pick up a consumable, they automatically get sorted to the rightmost side, which really saves you a lot of time. So another setting that you should try to use is confirm edit on release. This setting is a preference and really can mess with your crosshair placement if used incorrectly, all right? Edit on release saves you time, but also it can be tricky to really fully learn at first. Lastly, all right, make sure that you disable pre-edits as this can really mess you up a lot while you're fighting. All right, guys, make sure to stay on your grind and just really practice as much as you can this season. And you're definitely going to be showing your talent on this season seven leaderboards. You know, our settings, tips and tricks is going to leave your opponents in the dust and allow you to dominate without your opponent even standing a chance. Right. So if you're still having trouble, man, getting used to these binds, make sure to remember that everybody has to start from somewhere. Right. And with time and dedication, you're going to get there in the end. Hey, if you guys like the video, make sure to sub to the channel. If you want to connect with my Instagram, I'm right here at your motivation guy. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.